Hello students. In this video, today I will be talking about ICSC specimen paper uh, for 2024 board exam. Okay, so here this specimen paper, uh, there are two sections. Uh, there are two sections in this question paper you will get section A and section B. And uh, in this video, I will be discussing mainly about section A. Okay, so section A is a compulsory section. Uh, where at section B, uh, we need to attempt any four question out of six. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, and before starting, I just want to say that please subscribe this channel and share and um, like this channel also, like this video. So here, section A, the first question which is given here, uh, this is the multiple choice type question in question number one. Choose the correct answer to the question from the given option. Okay, so first is loss of water as droplets from the hydrothodes is called. So, what is the name of the process where the water droplets are mainly coming out through the hydrothodes? So, uh, the correct answer here it will be gutation. The gutation will be the correct answer. And gutation is the process through which water mainly comes out as water droplets, not as a vapor, because when it is coming out as a vapor, then we will call it as transpiration but here it is coming out as water droplets and through which pore through hydrothodes which are mainly present on the leaf veins or in the leaf margins second question synthesis phase in the cell cycle is called so because of the synthesis of more glucose protein rna dna which will be the correct answer so actually this question came from the first chapter uh, the cell cycle where two phases are present one is interphase and another is the m phase so synthesis synthesis uh, cis phase it is mainly present in the interphase okay uh, interphase uh, in interphase there are g1 g2 and g1 s and g2 phases there so s phase which is um, also known as synthesis phase that phase is known mainly for the formation of dna so dna is the correct answer while playing with his friends, uh, Peter inserted a stick into his ear. Uh, then he lost his hearing due to the rupture of heart. Rupture of eardrum, pericardium, cornea, pinna, which part is mainly affected? Um, so that is tympanum or the eardrum. So eardrum part, if it rupture, then it mainly create problem in hearing. So the rupturing happens here in the eardrum. The prime source of chlorofluorocarbons is, that means CFC, uh, the prime source of it is refrigeration equipment. Chlorofluorocarbon is the gas um, that mainly uh, responsible for the ozone layer depletion. Nowadays, it is not using in refrigeration, uh, in the refrigeration equipment. Oxygenated blood to heart is supplied by uh, which blood vessel hepatic artery coronary artery renal artery pulmonary artery so here oxygenated blood uh, it is mainly supplied to the heart muscle through the coronary artery okay. next um, assertion and reason assertion there is frequent urination in summer than in winter okay uh, so another is reason in summer, we lose a lot of water as sweat, so the kidneys uh, reabsorb more water. Hence, urine formed is less in summer than in winter. So, actually, this first assertion A, there is frequent urination in summer than in winter. This uh, assertion is not correct, it is false, it is a false statement because more urination happens in the winter than in summer but here it is written totally opposite way that more urination happens in summer than in winter so this statement is not correct now see the reason in summer we lose a, lose a lot of water as sweat mm, okay this is correct so the kidneys reabsorb more water that's also correct hence urine is formed the urine formed is less in summer than in winter so that's also correct so here um, that means assertion a is false and r is true option d will be the correct answer the age restrictions for marriage for boys and girls by law in india is um, so four options they have given boys 18 years girls 21 years boys 17 years girls 16 years 
boys 21 years girls 18 years boys 20 years girls 17 years so here the correct answer will be boys 21 years and girls 18 years next Hari is fond of watching the fish in an aquarium. So he set up an aquarium in his house. Along with a number of freshwater fish, he also placed a clown fish, which is a saltwater fish. After a few hours, the clown fish was found dead and floating on water. So this was due to um, what actually happened here. So the aquarium water, it is uh, mainly hypotonic hypotonic and the marine water fish clown fish which he used that was mainly uh, staying in the hypertonic situation so we are placing one hypertonic um, the substrate to the hypertonic solution that means the, where the concentration is very high such kind of element we are using we are putting them in the uh, hypotonic solution what will happen there as we all know osmosis uh, the movement happened from dilute to uh, concentrated solution so here the dilute solution is aquarium um, water and the concentrated one is the fish in our tissue fluids. So here the water enter from the aquarium to the fish food which is called endosmosis. So the depth that mainly caused here for this clown fish it's mainly for endosmosis which mainly swell the fish food and may burst the fish food at last. The solvent used for dissolving chlorophyll while testing a leaf for starch is ethyl alcohol. And this is the correct answer. The structure related to storage and maturation of sperms in a human male is epididymis. This is the part which mainly stored the sperm, and this is the part only where the sperms become matured. A sequence of DNA has 200 nitrogenase base pairs, of which 100 are thymine, adenine pairs. What is the number of cytosine guanine pairs in this sequence? So, A and T base pair, the number it is given 100. 100. And they have given um, total number 200 uh, nitrogenase base pairs. So A and T, it's collectively present 100. So cytosine and guanine will be present. The rest 100 will be for cytosine and guanine. So the correct answer will be 100. The stress hormone in plants, which functions during a drought, that means in a uh, in stress situation. And as we all know, um, the plant stress hormone is abscisic acid. So here the options are given auxins, abscisic acid, ethylene, cytokinins. So the correct answer will be abscisic acid. Come to the next question. Compressed natural gas, CNG, is proposed to be a better alternative to fossil fuel. Which of the following reasons makes it a better alternative? P. Combustion leaves little or no residue. Okay absence of carbon in CNG and then it is easily available. So if you see uh, for CNG, uh, it creates very less residues or no residues, that option is correct. And also it is easily available. So P and R, we need to take that one. So where it is present, uh, only P and R. So option C will be the correct answer for this question. The ground substance present in chloroplast is ground stuff substance, uh, the matrix, uh, which is also called as stroma. The correct answer will be stroma. Stroma, it is in the, uh, it is also called stomata, okay, in uh, plural, in um, plural form. Grana, that is also the part of this uh, chloroplast, um, which is also collectively called as thylakoids. Okay, actually, uh, the piles of thylakoids mainly forms the grana. So, thylakoid is also given. So, the ground substance which is there in the chloroplast it will be stroma, which is also called matrix. Lata wanted to cross the road. She looked on either side of the road and then walked across to the other side of the road. Which of the following is or are involved in the process? described well. that means which part of the brain is mainly engaged here or which part of the body is mainly engaged here for this activity of lata so 
cerebrum that is responsible then cerebellum mainly for maintaining the body balance and, and for locomotion purpose or for movement purpose muscles are also helping skeletal muscles so cerebrum cerebellum skeletal muscles that means of one two three one two three option d will be the correct answer uh, option d will be the correct answer for this question next next is the name the following so the respiratory pigment in erythrocytes so which kind of pigment is mainly present in the erythrocytes erythrocytes means rbc's so the pigment which is helping in respiration that is known as respiratory pigment that is mainly present in the erythrocyte is hemoglobin the correct answer will be hemoglobin 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 is the correct answer. The tissue that transports manufactured food from the leaves to all the parts of the plant. That means uh, the part, the tissue which is mainly transporting the manufactured food uh, that mainly uh, produced through uh, photosynthesis process from the leaves to the various part of the plant. The answer will be phloem tissue. Phloem. Phloem tissue, which is one of the conducting tissue. Another conducting tissue is the xylem, which is mainly transporting water and minerals absorbed by the root from the soil. The type of gene which, in the presence of a contrasting allele, is not expressed. So, the type of gene which is uh, which in the presence of a contrasting allele uh, is not expressed. Suppose here I am I am writing a capital T small t, capital T small t. So, when capital T is there, it is not possible to express through this small t. The small t is not expressing when capital T is there. Okay, so the presence of the of the contrasting allele, this one is not able to express. So, we will call this allele as recessive allele. Recessive. So they asked for the type of gene, you can write recessive gene, recessive gene, okay. The duct which carries urine from the urinary bladder to outside of the body. So this is the kidney, this is the suppose kidney from there, the tube which mainly comes out from there, this is the uh, ureter and then it passes the urine to this uh, portion that is called urinary bladder and then from the urinary bladder it may mainly moving out from the body through this structure which is called urethra so the correct answer will be urethra the correct answer will be urethra okay the collective term for the protective membranes of the brain collective terms that means as you know in the brain the outer uh, covering uh, that means the membranous structure which is present that is called a meninges okay where dura meter arachnoid pia meter these uh, membranous layers are present so collectively we will call it as meninges 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 this is the correct answer next arrange and rewrite the terms in each group in the correct order so as to be in a logical sequence beginning with the term that is underlined so we need to first start with this underlined part so i am writing one for each case we need to start from there okay now see how we can arrange them in logical sequence so grass that is indicating one food chain so grass will be number one Okay, whenever in the exam uh, you will write, then time you write in arrow, grass, arrow, the next part, the next part, you give arrows. So I am uh, giving here instruction through numbering. Okay, so don't follow that, you follow the arrangement. You see the arrangement only, but don't write this way. So first is grass, and then grass is taken by, by grasshopper. Grass will be taken by grasshopper. Grass is the producer. Uh, grass super is the primary consumer and then from this grass super it will be taken by the frog 
secondary consumer okay and then frog is will be taken by snake so grass arrow grass super arrow frog arrow snake it will be the correct arrangement next cochlea melia spina stapes this is about uh, the sense organ ear uh, okay so the sound wave or the structure if we really observe first it is spina which is present in the external ear then um, we need to see the middle ear part and then the inner part is also given here inner one part is also given here so pina then next will be melius melius then number three will be stapis and number four will be the last sensory part of the ear cochlea where inside the organ of 40 is present okay next it is coming from circulatory system so the first it will be platelets then from platelets second will be thrombin then from thrombin uh, third will be fibrinogen and fourth fibrin so platelets um, disintegrate and then many more steps are there but few names they have given here maybe because they just want to check you know or not about the concept the concept should be clear for you um, so according to that if you see if you know the steps of the blood clotting or blood coagulation then only you will be able to arrange the uh, sequence here so platelets then thrombin then fibrinogen and then lastly uh, fibrin which finally forms the mesh network over the clot over the injured part which finally forms the clot next epid epidermis so from epidermis then it will be moving to the cortex so number two will be cortex that is also called cortical cell or parenchymata cell this is about the root structure then from the cortex next it will be endodermis endodermis number three and then number four xylem so epidermis arrow cortex arrow endodermis and then arrow xylem next this question it is came from a reproductive um, system a reproduction chapter so here it is the developmental stages indicating so embryo this is in the first stage and then uh, it will develop as morula so morula will be in the second step third blastocyst or blastula and then fourth fetus so embryo arrow morula arrow blastocyst arrow fetus so these are the correct sequence next fill in the blanks with suitable words the technical term for short sightedness so this question came from the eye part okay it is indicating the eye defect one eye defect so the technical term for short sightedness is myopia 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 this defect is caused because the eyeball is lengthened because the eyeball is lengthened because the eyeball is lengthened from front to back or the lens is too curved or the lens is too curved the lens is too curved it can be corrected by using a suitable concave lens concave concave lens the power of lens is mentioned in minus minus so the technical term for short sightedness is myopia this defect is caused because the eyeball is lengthened from front to back or the lens is too curved it can be corrected by using a suitable concave lens the power of the lens is mentioned in minus next choose the odd one out from the following terms and name the category to which the others belong okay 
so newspaper vegetable peels electric bulbs animal excreta so odd one we need to choose the odd one so here electric bulb is the odd one and we need also we need to write the name of the category for the rest three so here the category name will be biodegradable wastes biodegradable wastes biodegradable biodegradable wastes biodegradable wastes in newspaper vegetable pills any minister we can we can include them in one category and the category name will be biodegradable waste next renal pelvis renal artery renal cortex renal medulla so the odd one will be the renal artery and the category name for the for these three parts renal pelvis renal cortex renal medulla uh, we will write is a category name as parts of kidneys parts of kidney parts of kidney parts of kidney so these are all parts of kidney next urochrome urea keratin uric acid the hormone will be keratin and the category name here uh, the components of urine okay components of components of urine components components of urine components of urine the others are present in the urine urea uric acid these are the main excretory product and one um, uh, there is urochrome this is the pigment um, the color of the urine is mainly for this urochrome pigment so this is also present in the urine so these are the components of urine next oval window cochlea auditory canal and ground window so here the correct answer will be for the choose the odd one or we need to choose the odd one the odd one will be auditory canal and uh, for the rest of this uh, if we uh, take them as a category so it will be inner parts of ears if we take them all inner parts of ears inner parts of inner parts of or internal parts of ears inner or internal parts of ear okay next last adh tsh sth nadp or one will be nadp and the category name here will be pituitary hormones they all are uh, the adh secreted from posterior part of the pituitary tsh sth it is these are secreted from the anterior part of pituitary so they are all pituitary hormones so the category name will be pituitary hormones pituitary hormones pituitary hormones this is the name of the category okay now move to the last question of this uh, section a because here in this video i am mainly talking about section a only and uh, this is the last part matching match the items given in column one with the most appropriate ones in column two and rewrite the correct matching pairs so spinal cord first it is given in column one spinal cord so spinal cord um, if we see the other things adrenaline in the column two part if we see adrenaline 44 nephrons okay 46 thyroxine neurons cortisones so with spinal cord only one part is matching that is neurons neurons next if we see adrenal medulla so from uh, adrenal medulla and if we want to uh, adjust this with the structure which is given adrenal medulla it secretes uh, adrenaline this is the name of the hormone which is secreted from adrenal medulla then number of autosomes in man number of autosomes this is not asking for number of chromosomes it is asking for number of autosomes we have total 46 chromosomes and out of 46 two sex chromosomes or allosomes and two uh, sorry and 44 autosomes so the correct answer will be 44 so they have given 46 so don't give 46 here they are trying to confuse you so 46 is the total number of chromosomes but autosome number is 44 next kidney 
kidney inside the cells which are present as you all know these are called nephrons or uniferous tubules so kidney we can match them easily with the nephrons and last is adrenal cortex uh, here one hormone name is given which is secreted from adrenal cortex so we can easily match them the adrenal cortex with cortisol so this is the correct answer for this matching okay so thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe it and like and share this video thank you for watching at the last thank you